Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Halau na Puahala Kuno Ikekai. My name is Kumu Kanoi. This is my son, my little helper. This is Eames Kalaniakea. And we are very excited to be getting back into hula. I hope you all had a wonderful week, a nice Easter celebration. I know that we did. Yes, yes. It was so much fun doing our Easter egg hunt with you last week. So mahalo to those of you that participated and congratulations on finding all the eggs. Luckily, we didn't have any left over here. So um, we are going to be jumping back into a review of Mayday's Lady and continuing our mele for Uncle Kaipohale's song, Lei Pua Kenny Kenny. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you for being here. Thanks for sharing this with your friends. If you want to hit that share button right now to invite a few more friends to come and join us, we would love for them to be with us. But other than that, I think it's time. Again, welcome back to our Ohana Saturday Hula class. This class has evolved from a class for our keiki to a class for the entire Ohana because we noticed that the keiki we're watching and the makua and the kupuna, everyone was part of our class. And so we welcome you all to join us. On Saturdays, we like to do the routine of hula class, just like we learned from my kumu, um, Auntie Le Momi i Maldonado. So we're going to start with our prayers and chants on our mele. The very first one that we always begin with is Hawaii Iponoi. And Hawaii Iponoi, of course, was written by two wonderful heroes for our Hawaiian music tradition. Uh, King David Kalakaua wrote the words and Henry Berger, the bandmaster of the Royal Hawaiian Band, wrote the music. So we will do all three verses, starting with verse number run, one, run, <laughs> no, no running. Stand still when you dance this. I mean, sing this. Okay, here we go. Pali ke kua, back is straight like a cliff. Mahina ke alo, your face shines with a smile like the moon, if the moon had a smile. Hawaii pono i pa. Hawaii i pono i na na i kromo i kala ni ali i ke too yeah because we got all the parts right here in our home that was uncle luke behind the camera with that nice low voice that's my husband Eames's daddy making us look good all the time so <laughs> thank you babe <laughs> all right next up we want to greet all of you folks uh before we do our oyo loho, we want to 
greet you and see who is out there watching. We are so lucky to have friends from all around the world. So let's see who we have joining in for our global Hula Ohana. There are lots of you. So here we go. Angelique is joining us. Aloha Kako from Germany. Kelamania. Very good. Uncle Frank joining us from Kaleponi, California. We also have Charlotte that is greeting us from the United Kingdom. Very excited to have you here. We also have Patricia joining us from Massachusetts. And Sandy Picon joining us from Mexico. She said aloha to you too, Eames. Eames has more of a fan club than me. I know. It's fine. Okay. Oh, gosh. I can't read this name. But she is in Taichung, Taiwan. So, hello and aloha to you. We have Rai Moana joining us from Paris, France. Bonjour. Bonjour. Coco, Coco. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed the... the um. The Egg Hunt from Mexico. Also from Mexico, we have Veronica. It was nice talking to you this morning, Veronica. I'm glad you got to join us also in Mexico. Uh, Jamie is joining us from San Diego. We just love San Diego. I know I say that every time, but maybe if I had to live in California, it might be San Diego. Okay, uh, let's see. Yvonne McGreevy, aloha kako. Yvonne, I believe, is in Florida. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know she has some great plants. She has all kinds of trees and everything in her, in her yard. Beverly, joining us from Kelowna. Kelowna, I've actually heard of Kelowna before. It's good to, I know that sounds very terrible, but in Canada, aloha. I'm glad that you discovered us. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, Joey is joining us from right here on the island of Oahu. Nice to see you, Joey. Okay, Linda, I know this is a lot of people, but I want to make sure I say hello to everybody. Linda is in Pennsylvania. Hey, eventually, when we have thousands of people watching our show, I might not be able to say hi to everybody. Okay, um, let's see. Olga Paharilaga. Olga? Where are you from, Olga? I would like to know. Aloha. And Michaela Vogel, where are you from? I want to know too. Aloha. Thanks for being with us. And uh, I see OKC from Taiwan. Okay. Mahalo. Mahalo. Thank you all for being here. Isn't that amazing? We are the whole world. We've got the whole world in our hula class. Okay. Anyways. Let's say aloha to everybody by doing our aloha chant. Hey, come on, come on. Our aloha chant, of course, is written by Kumu Pilahi Paki, and it is an acrostic poem that spells out the word aloha. So we have A-L-O-H-A, spelled out not only in letters, but in the ways that we can show our aloha to the world. So here we are. Oli aloha. Loka hiya kuike Onu onu kamana o Ha a ha a kokulana A honu yalana kira Aloha Mahalo. I really felt that aloha from you folks from all around the world. So thank you for always checking in and letting us know where you are sending your aloha from. It really connects us all. So mahalo for that. At this time, we're going to have a seat. Noho ilalo. Sit down on the ground. And we're going to continue on with our prayers. So the first prayer that we always do is, of course, our Hawaiian doxology, which was written by... Hiram Bingham, he did uh, the first verse, and then our Kumu Haunani Bernardino, who has since passed, um, she thought it was too short and such a lovely, lovely prayer that she wanted to add a second verse. So that's how we have two verses to share with you. I hope that you will do them with us. Ho'onani pa. Ho'onani kamakuono.
The next pule or prayer that we will be doing is called E Kiel Kua, and it is a very simple one. It is done in a um, kind of a kahua hoa style, which is call and response. So we make friends, and one person starts, and the friend will answer. So here we come with E Kiel Kua, starting, um, I'll start, and then Eans is going to follow after. So here we go. E Kiel Kua, pa. E Kiel Kua. E Kiel Kua. Mahalo no, Mahalo no, Mahalo ya oi, Mahalo ya oi, No ke ya la, No ke ya la, Ah, mene, Ah, mene, Ah, mene, mene, Mahalo. Good job. Okay, from there, we're going to be moving on with some of our chants. And the next one talks about rising up the sun. But before we rise up the sun, we want to ask you, Pehea Keanila. Pehea Keanila means, how's the weather? I know that seems like a question that you just ask when you don't know what else to say. But we're truly, um, we are truly interested to know Pehea Keanila. So we showed you a shot of our outdoor area. This is actually a live shot of our um, outdoors right now we have a beautiful view this picture window here at um, actually my parents home where we teach hula so our weather pehea kianila today for us seems hela what like a mani and like malie yeah hela malie and for us hela anu anu now i know some of you around the world are going to probably Sign off of this immediately when we say what anu anu means to us here in Nu'uanu. This morning we woke up and we were so cold. It was 61 degrees. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous, but it was cold, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. like for us. Everybody's going to say, mm -mm, zip it. We don't want to hear it. 61 is beautiful. So we do know. We have beautiful weather. I didn't say it was bad. I, just a little chilly. Okay, so Pehea Kianila, how is the weather in your neck of the woods? If you wanted to say the sentence, it would be He La Blank Kea. Unless you are one of our friends in Europe, it's probably He Pol Kea. It is a night for you. And we are so thankful that you join us even when it is like really, really late at night. Midnight. Midnight for some of you. Ay, ay, ay. So thanks for being with us. Let's bring up the sun. Unless it's nighttime, then you probably don't want the sun to rise right now. Oh, Malie for Patricia, 60s and 70s. Same then. Same. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. E ala e. Um, we made a slight change, remember? We're trying to do it uh, the way that Kumu Ke Kuhi Kanahele teaches, which is the upoho, kind of a cupped hand, and then a pa'i or a flat hand. So let's just practice that pattern. Upoho. Two cup hand. Two cup and one flat. Ready, go. Upoho, upoho, pa'i. Upoho, upoho, pa'i. E ala e. E ala e kala i ka hikina i ka moana ka moana ho ho nu pi i ka leva ka leva nu u i ka hikina ai a kala e ala e hana ho second time go e ala e kala i ka hikina i ka moana ka moana ho ho nu Pi i ka leva, ka leva nu u, i ka hikina, ai a ka la. E ala e, last time with gusto go. E ala e, ka la i ka hikina, i ka moana, ka moana ho ho nu. Pi i ka leva, ka leva nu u, i ka hikina, ai a ka la. E ala e. Very good. Okay, so that was our Eala E and our sun, it's up. It's a beautiful day in Hawaii Ine. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we are We have lots of sentences. Okay, let's see. Pehea Kianila in your neck of the woods. Let's see. Let's see who's gonna give us their weather. Okay. Hilau <gasps> Ikea. Yes. 
it is a lawu e now inger is also known as kanoi and she's right here in the kaimuki area he lawu e no he lawu e maoli no okay jamie says he la vela keia in san diego i bet he la vela means it's a hot one hot, 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 hot. it's a hot one in the old town tonight yvonne pahia windy and rain coming in the morning oh okay so lots of wind lots of wind in florida okay yay thank you so much for sharing your weather with us that's really interesting as we get like a global weather report okay let's come back let's focus okay. ourselves we're going to do a whole my right now which is a great uh, melee to do before you start anything because the english translation of this says grant us the knowledge from above concerning the hidden wisdom of songs grant 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 us these things which means please give them to us let us have them okay so are you ready yeah my pa e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai o na me a una no e a o na me le e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai o na me a una no e a o na me le Now, you might have seen Eames take a big <sighs> breath. And that is because my keiki, when they come and they've done this chant many, many times, like you all have here we'll on Facebook, right? We're going to try to do as many of the lines in one breath as possible. So let's try one more time. And this yeah. time, let's try to hold our breath through the entire first line, connect it to the second line, all the way to the third line, first a whole mai. And then at the comma, after the first a whole mai, then take a breath. Okay? Yes. As a singer, we know the best way to fill our lungs with air is to get rid of, get rid of all of the stale air first. So push out all of your air. Breathe deeply in. Pa. E ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a huna no e a o na me le e ho mai. E ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a una no e a o na me le e ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai e. Ike mai luna mai e o na me a una no e a o na me le e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai e. It was really easier when you just blew out all your. It really does make a difference when you get rid of any stale air. And that's a good way to just clear out all of the bad, too. So thank you for that. I got to use my little choral conducting skills that I haven't used in a few years. I mean, months. Okay, we're moving right along. Go grab your ipu. It's time to work with our ipu. If you don't have an ipu, um, remember, you can use whatever you have available to you. Perhaps it is a water bottle. Perhaps it's a show you bottle. Perhaps it is an orange juice bottle, a box, or maybe just your ipu right there. Okay. <laughs> so for our ipu, remember it is a cousin to the pumpkin or the kabocha or the squash. Uh, so this is the 
Come on, come on, come on. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Okay, so this is our ipu. We're going to do our mele ipu heke ole to create our ipu. First thing we do is chop off the top portion or chop off its head, I like to say. And then you're going to scoop out the guts. Do your best. And then you're going to scrub the outside, maybe sand it down with some sandpaper, and then dip it in the ocean so that it won't be infested with bugs or termites and all the things. I got to go do all of my ipu. They're kind of getting Okay, are you ready? Makoko? Hanavo ika ipu heke ole pa. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole scoop. Ika ipu heke ole sand. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole dip. Ika papa hana no eo hanaho. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole scoop. Ika ipu. Heke ole san, hanavo ika ipu heke ole pa, ika pam pa, hana no eo. Very good. For those of you that got to go to Ho'omaka Ika'i Explorations at Kamehameha School, that's where I learned that mele. I wonder if a few of you might have learned it. I know, I know, it's for little kids, but I still like it. Yep. Okay, let's go on to our beats. We have four main beats that we do. The first one is not a beat really at all. It's kind of an ornamentation. Take your hand on the side of the ipu and you're going to just rotate between the thumb and the pinky. It's a rattling sound known as ka eke loloi. It's a little bit more of an ornamentation than a beat itself. Every time you hit the ipu to the ground, you're going to do a little ka eke loloi before it. If you can't get the ka eke loloi, just throw it out and just focus on the next three beats, okay? So let's do the pa beat now. The pa beat is u and a te. U is gonna be on the pale, and the te is gonna be a tap on the side. Let's do the pa beat four times. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four. The kahela beat is the double beat. It is a u plus two te's. Let's do four kahela, ready, go. Beat, of course, is called kuku. You will get three oos with the kaeke loloi if you can. Oo, oo, oo. And then you're going to add that te te, just like the kahala beat. Let's get our kuku beat four times. Ready, set, here we go. A one, and two, and three, and four, and kuku. All right. We're not going to spend too much time on this. A quick pattern for you, okay? So we're going to combine these things that we have here. So we're going to do a pa, kahela, pa, kahela, pa, kahela, kuku. Okay, Super I got simple. it. I got okay? it. Pa, kahela, Shall we pa, just kahela, tell you? Pa, kahela, kuku. That's it. Got it. If you're not as quick as him, let's go slowly. So it's going to go pa, kahela, pa, kahela, pa, kahela. Kuku. Hopefully seeing it visually here like this helps you a little bit. But if not, just play whatever. I can't do it anyways. Okay, ready, set, here we go. A pa, kahela, a pa, kahela, a pa, kahela, kuku. Was that hard? Easy? Yes. When you raise your voice, I know the end is coming. That's right. A pa, kahela. Okay, so he found the, the secret, to, the secret sauce. Okay, let's do one more pattern for the super advanced people out there, okay? If this one is hard, don't worry about it. Okay, so here we go. Kahela, 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 pa. Kahela, wait, don't say anything. Just let them listen first, okay? Start over. Kahela, 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 pa. Pa, kahela, pa, kahela. Kahela, 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 pa. Pa, kahela, kuku. Okay, no. somewhere in your mind is going, Easy. I know, okay. Start with Kahala, <laughs> ready, set, here we go. Kahala, 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 and pa. Pa, Kahala, pa, Kahala, 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 and a pa. A pa, Kahala, kuku. Okay, drop us an emoji to tell me how you did on that. Thumbs up, thumbs down, mad face, brain explode, whatever you want to put in the, in the chat. Okay, so I hope that was good for you. Let's put our ipu away. It's time to stand up because my feet are Thanks. sore. Okay, Easy. let's stand on up. Okay, Eames, you can take a quick little... Oh, actually, um, I wanted to do a little commercial break. Commercial break while we're... Stretching our legs because legs are sore.
Um, it is the month of April, and here at Kahal uh, at Napua Hala, I was gonna say Kahaleo Kahala, which is actually my Kumu's hello. So, anyways, here at Napua Hala, we are doing a challenge on Instagram and Facebook, or one or the other, whatever you want to do, and it is called the Lays for Days Challenge. Yeah, you know that song. There'll be lays for days and days and never gaze at where the ships go sailing by. That's the song. On a coconut island. Okay, anyways, I digress. So we're doing the lays for days challenge. And the reason that we started this challenge is because May Day is coming up. And it always happens so fast. It's April and then all of a sudden, boom, May Day, po. Yes. So we love the fact that People wear lay on May Day, but it's too little, too little, too late. Sometimes you miss it and boom, pow. So for the entire month of April, we are challenging you to try once or twice or three times, who knows, to make a lay or just wear a lay or give a lay to someone, whatever you want to do. But here are some of the lay that we have done in the past 10 days today uh, uh so we started over here with our puamelia plumeria then we had lawae this one was kind of a mixed bag we did for easter last saturday you remember that one this one we actually didn't make so you can even post pictures of lays that you haven't made yourself but ones that you truly admire this one came from the city and county lay competition a few years back so that's that one this one on the far side is a lay coupe that i also didn't make but i own this is made of of shells let's see uh down the far end you'll see over here there is a lay pua kenny kenny which we're going to talk about a little bit more later uh right next to it you have a lay umi umi Dole, which is also known as Spanish moss. Right down here, where here, here in the middle, you'll see on top of my papale is a lei lai with green and yellow lai. That's tea leaf. Right next to it, you see that big bun uh, that is also made of tea leaf. That's red tea leaf. And then on the far side is a lei that I purchased from my very favorite lei stand, Nita's lei stand. It is yellow avapuhi, the avapuhi mele mele. And I gifted that to my kumu, Uncle Kim. Alama Keolana because he visited my class yesterday. Uh, today's lei is a fake lei, but I love it so, so much. This lei is supposed to look like pikake. Um, and so you don't have to even make a fresh lei. It can be a fake lei. It can be a paper lei, a plastic lei, a candy lei, a money lei, whatever you like. Uh, but go ahead, wear a lei make a lay, share a lay, and post it to Instagram or Facebook with the hashtag lays for days. And be sure to tag us so that we can see your lays too. Um, that's it. That's it right there. Hashtag lays for days. I hope that you'll join us at least once, maybe during the month of April leading up. Okay. So that is that. Um, okay. One more small commercial break. You can actually go sit down for this because you're making me Okay, uh, a lot of you folks comment on my costumes or my mu'u mu'u. Um, I actually do have a lot of them. Many of them I do own. However, I have recently discovered uh, one of my favorite new businesses that popped up during the past couple of months. It is called Mu'u Mu'u Mama's Mu'u Mu'u Library. And uh, Marianne over there has this subscription where you can go once a month and pick out mu'u mu'u to borrow for one month. So these are just some of the ones that I rented this month. Um, I think it's like $44 to get um, three mu'u mu'u. So you see the ones that we've featured in the past couple of days and this one that I'm wearing. This one today is by Tori Richards. It's vintage. I mean, it's obviously vintage. I don't know if you see anything like quite like this uh these days but pose for the thumbnail yeah okay that was it okay uh, so anyways um if you are wondering what are you going to wear for may day and you want something different you're tired of everything that's in your closet you have to check out marion sign up for her subscription and then let's all go down to the Mu'u Mu'u library and get something new slash old to wear on may day and maybe a few days uh leading up to it so 
definitely check them out at Mu'umu'u Mamas um, on Instagram or Mu'umu'umamas.com and sign up for their their subscription. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them. I just really love this idea. So that's that. Okay. Uh, oh, will you put that back up just for a moment? So sorry. Okay. This, this one right here next to me is probably my favorite of the bunch. You see this dress that I'm wearing? <laughs> that's really awkward. But uh, it features the lei Pua Kenny Kenny. And finally, I'm going to stop talking and we're going to start dancing because this is the lei. Uh, the one that I'm wearing in that picture is actually the lei itself. And then you see the print of it down below. The lei Pua Kenny Kenny has like a honey flavored scent. And um, when it's strung into a lei, then it actually changes colors. It starts off a very light white color, then turns to kind of this yellowish and then can go to a deep orange color. It's just uh, a beautiful, beautiful lay. Um, <laughs> yes, Eames, Eames wants me to show you what happens after a week. Yeah, that's what it looks like after a week. Okay. Anyways, um, so lay pua Kenny Kenny. Let's dive in. Okay, lay pua Kenny Kenny. We're finally gonna dance. Okay, now that our legs are ready to go, um, let's review the first two verses that we did last week. Our Mele by Uncle Kaipo Hale. He, he wrote it probably when he was a little older than in this photo, um, but that's a baby picture of Uncle Kaipo Hale growing up in Pao'o Valley. So left hand starts across your chest. Yes, we're dancing now. We're really dancing. Right hand is rolling at your chest. Ya oe kale. Then you're going to put on that lay over your head. Pua keni keni. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, one more time. Roll at your heart. Ready, go. Ya oe kale. Then put on one hand lay. Pua keni keni. Then you're going to touch your shoulder. Right hand is over the left. And into the center. And then every time you get a, uh, you're going to lock your right hand into your chest. Left hand is going to flip and you look over that shoulder. Never right hand. Always left hand for a, uh. Actually, I lied. There is a right hand coming up. Okay. Ya oe, roll at the heart. Ya oe, kale, pua keni keni. Flip it over a, uh. And there's a little dip there too. Okay. Kapua kaulana. I'm going to actually clarify something from your chest and then bloom into that kaulana motion because we're talking about a flower that is so famous. Okay. So, Kapua kaulana. Onauna is a fragrance. You're going to touch your fingertips to the nose. Ikeo na o na. And remember, we only get a half vamp. So lock that left hand into the waist. And you're going to do side and front. You can only wish that you have sleeves like this to dance with. Okay, anyways. Ya oe. Here we go. Just hands. Ya oe kalei. Pua keni keni. Oh, sorry. Ni. E a. Blooming to kaulana. Kapua kaulana ike o na o na. Vam. Ba di da di dum. Now remember, we're trying, 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 trying to keep it simple for this class. And the first two verses are all kaholo. I can't promise anything for the rest of the song, but first two verses are kaholo. So let's try just the hands and feet with out the music um and we'll try this with uh hands and feet which is kaholo okay ready set here we go ya oe kale pua keni keni ea pua ka pua ka ulana ike o na o na and holo to the side that's it now, my teacher brain is saying, hold on, hold on. Some people don't even know what a kaolo is. So let's back it up one step. We have a vavai cam that I can show you, hopefully. Okay, let's do without um, without the lyrics. Yep, okay. So your kaholo, in case you don't know, your kaholo, you're going to bend the knees slightly, and you're going to take four steps to the right and four steps to the left. We all can practice our kaholo, so don't go get your coffee. Just, just hang with us. Ready? Kaholo to the right. Da 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 bum 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 ba da 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 keep going keep the feet steady and flat our style is flat foot it to the right two three and left make sure it's even steps to the right two three and left two three last time and then we add 
clap our hands, Yahweh, here we go. Yahweh, Kalei, Pua Kenny Kenny, Ea Kapua, Kapua Kaulana Ikeo Naona, Half Bam Kahola, Side Yahweh, Roll at the Heart, Yahweh, Kalei, Pua Kenny Kenny, Ea Bloom to Kaulana. Kapu a ka ulana ike o na o na half amp to the side and front. Okay, so that was the first verse. We practice it over and over. The junk thing is, since there's eight verses, we only need to do it one time when we do it with the music. Okay, let's look at verse number two before we throw on the music. How are we doing on time? Good. Okay, the second verse says, "You and I." So you're gonna reach that right hand out. Kaua ikeala, you and I, in the fragrance. Ikeala, oke aumoi, in the sleeping time. Oh my gosh, in the middle of the night when you're supposed to be sleeping, they were together, you and I. Oh my gosh, they must have been watching the moon, right? That's the only reason they could possibly be together. Okay, anyways, kaua, kaua ikeala, oke aumoi. Switch hands. Oh, just one side. Ea. Okay, so that one is going to be kaholo to the right. You and I in the fragrance filled evening time. And then Ea, you're going to look to the left. Then we're talking about this gentle wind. Ho o hi ea na ike a he. So you're going to do right hand, left hand, and then double wind. Kamakani. And then we get that vamp. Try again, just those hands. You and I. Ka ua i ke ala ke a umo e e a e a wind right hand ho hi e a na i ke a he kama ka ni vamping to the side and front. Okay, so that's the second verse. Now, if you're thinking, "Holy wow, she's going fast." You gotta go back and watch last week. That's when we went slower. Not that slow, but a little bit slower on this one, okay? So go watch the replay, go watch them go. For now, let's try without the music, two verses, okay? Let's start, ya oe, ready, set, here we go. Ya oe, put on the lay, pua kenny ke, shoulder, and front, e a bloom to kaulana go. Kapua kaulana ike o na o na. Moving on and kaua out. You and I in the fragrance of the aumoe. Dip e a the wind. Ho o hi e ho o hi e a na. A he kama ka ni. Kaholo to the half vamp. Now, let's try with the music because it's not helping me to do the English. And Hawaiian and English and Hawaiian English Hawaiian <laughs> hyperventilating. Okay, ready? Let's hit it. You wanna come join? Oh, we might have lost the speaker. Okay, there we are. Okay, ready? Come. What's that? Who's? Oh my gosh, my my ipu. Can you? She wanted to dance too. Oh, we're dancing. Yeah, oi. Oh, just kidding. Oh, scratch. Yeah, oi. Yeah, oi. Kalei pua candy candy. Bloom to kaulana. Fragrance. Aumoi. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta try that again. The first part got me really messed up. I forgot the vamp at the beginning. So sorry. I'm gonna make this a little bit louder. This might end up being ka'o, ka'o, and then holo. Ya'oi. Ya'oi. Put on your leg. Shoulder. Ea. Ea. Bloom. Fragrance. Other side. You and I. Okay, 
So that was our okay. first two verses. Now we're going to learn the third and fourth verses, okay? So let's take a look at that. Come, let's go a little bit closer so that they can see our hands. Okay, so the third verse says, Elihia. Now, Elihia is an interesting word. It can, mean, it can mean to be overcome with dread. It can mean to be overcome with fear. And it can also be mean to be overcome by the beauty of something. Which one do you think that they're talking about in this case? <laughs> the beauty, 100%. So last week, Eames was asking, hey, he's talking about a lay, and he's talking about being together. Is he together with the lay, or is he together with someone? And is it his love? And I think this one is another clue. I am overcome by your beauty probably not probably not overcome with dread but i'm overcome with your beauty yeah kamanao are my thoughts so my thoughts are overcome i cannot think about anything else except for your beauty aku when i see you isn't that nice you better save that line you know when you see See someone really nice looking, you say, Oh, ili here, come on out, okay, ike aku. They'll just fall on their knees and, okay. So, ili here, come on out, okay, ike aku. Dating tips during hula. Perfect, yeah? Okay, so here we go. Bring your hands to a cross. <laughs> and then you're going to flip it out. And now it's by your, uh, somewhere between your eyebrows and your um, hairline. That's kind of where your manao motion is going to be unless your hairline is no more and your eyebrows is no more then it's kind of right here okay ready one more time then you're gonna push the left hand okay oh, uh, we're mirroring you so you, this is your left hand okay and then bring it back cool and then ea so what do we do for ea that's right ea that's it okay let's try one more time ready cross at the eye Good. And if you can, turn your head and automatically look to the side because I know you're staring at the screen. You got to train yourself to look away. One more time. Ilihia to your thoughts. Ready, go. Look to the side. Ea. Nice smile, even very good. Ikapua mohala. Now, now he's back to talking about a flower. Is it a person or is it a flower? Is it a lay? Oh man, this Uncle Kaipo is really ili here. He's overcome. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> You're gonna pick the flower down this side at about waist level. Let's not go too low. We're gonna pick and form the flower. So this, this um, line says, this flower comes to full bloom in the ahiyahi. The ahiyahi is actually afternoon going into evening. Oh, yes. So, you know, when they're getting ready for their date and they're coming into full bloom and pinning the flowers and putting on the lashes. Okay, that's what's happening right now. Yes. This is not the night blooming series. The night blooming series, this is a very good question, blooms actually in the Aomoe, really, really late at night. Almost to the Vana'ao, which is when the, the sun pukas through, right? So night blooming series is going to be more towards the midnight to morning hours. This one is blooming in the afternoon to evening hours, okay? Yeah? Okay. So here we go. Ilihia, good. Good question from the peanut gallery. Okay, ready to your thoughts. Ilihia kamana okay ikea cool. Look over the shoulder. Ea blooming in the afternoon evening. Kapu amo hala ikea hia hi. And then you get the vamp two three. Okay, so let's add the our feet to this. Okay, um so. Can we leave the, the words up? Okay, ready, kaholo, right. Ilihia kamana, okay, ikea ku, ea, 
pick flowers and kapua mo ohala ike ahi ahi. Did you see that? It was all kaholo by request. Okay. All right. Yes. Someone was like, can we just do? Okay. Ilihia. Ready one more time. Kaholo. Ilihia. Come a look. Ke ike aku. Ea. Pick the flower and kapua mo hala ike ahi ahi. And then one more time. Ilihia. Ilihi a kamana oke ike a ku ea pick the flower kapua mo hala ike a hi a hi and kaholo to the left. Okay, let's try that much with the music. We still got so much to do, so we gotta just jamma jamma jamma, hamma jamma jamma. Ilihi a Ilihia kamana oke ike aku Ea, ea, ea Pick flower Ika pua mo hala ike ahi ahi Back to the side, yes That's it, that's it, very good Okay, we'll get it, I know there's a lot to do we're going to move on to verse number four because we want to make sure that we have caught up. So, Paua Kuuhome. Now, Uncle Kaipo, that's by the way, that is a picture of him. I know he grew up since the last slide, but that is when he was working at Kamehameha schools as an outreach educator and working especially with the preschools, making their curriculum um, for the Kamehameha preschools. So, he was born and, and grew up in the Paua area. So, after you finish your vamp, da 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 da, you're going to shoot the left hand straight up. And you're going to open to the right. Poa ku uhome. And then you're going to make your home. Your home is going to end right here in front of your chest. Please don't connect your thumbs here, but you're going to keep them open. Yep. Ku uhome. Kaui kahano. Now, if you've been with me, kaui kahano means to be placed on high or to be um, honored on high. So you're going to look over to the right. Here's that right elbow that you were asking about. Right elbow. And then a small dip on the ea to differentiate the two sides. So kaui kahano. Is, is straight and then ea is a dip yes that's it okay <sighs> pao left hand up ready show the place pao o wa home kaui kahano ea now if you're not familiar with pao it's just down the valley from where we are here in nuuanu and we come actually through that area um, when we come from Manoa, we come through Pao'o area, and there's a street that's called Awai Olimu. Can you say Awai Olimu? Awai Olimu. Awai means like a stream or actually like a ditch where water is running. And then Limu, we've talked about last week, I mean last month, and it um, can be seaweed, but when it's up in the mountains, it can also mean moss. So any sort of um, plant that grows mostly because of the water that's in the area uh, and like, you know, lichen, not lichen. What is it called? Algae. Algae. Okay. So even, um, you know, in your fish tank, in your living room, all covered in green stuff, that's limu. That's limu too. Okay. So we're talking about that. Actually, if you drive on Awayo Limu Street, there's a ditch that runs on the side next to Roosevelt High School. Do you know where? We go look them, we go look them. Okay, so there's a ditch there, and it's all filled with greenery. That's, that ditch with water is full of limu, and that's why that area and that street is called Awayo Limu. If you follow that street from Roosevelt High School up past Kevalauka, Papakolea, coming around to overlooking Uluhai Malama, which is Lili Okalani's garden. I'll go take some pictures and show you next week. When you get to that area, and then the cemeteries in that area, and then the first house right after the cemeteries, that's Uncle Kaipo's house. He lives right there overlooking Lili U's garden on the Awayolimu Street. Okay, don't go bother him just because I told you his address now. Okay, so he lives right there at Awayolimu. So now we know this is talking about him at his own home in his own neighborhood. Right, Just like Kevalo Uka, we've been honoring Hakumele composers and their homes. So 
Yes, we'll get some maps. So left hand up, let's go power. Pau o wa ku u home kawi kaha no e a. Now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. From here, your water is going to go down into the ditch. And then you're going to just wave in the ditch. There's the water and the limu. And the water and the limu. And then the verse is pau. That's it. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you. So the water goes down and in the ditch, there you will find the limu. That's the end of that verse. Pau oa. Pau oa ku uho me kawikaha no dip ea. The water going down to the ditch. Me kava ilana o awa yo limu. Holo one time. Let's add the feet. Okay. I know we're running out of time. That's okay. Pau oa. Left hand up, ready, and here we go. Pau o wa home, kaui kaha no e a me kava ilana, me kava ilana o wai a wai o limu, wai o wai o limu, whatever. Oh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I almost stepped on his foot. Okay, let's go back to that verse. Okay, 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 we're running out of time, buddy. Here we go. Ready for uh, Pau O. Ready? Here we go. Pau we Kahano. Look to the right. Ea. The water down to the ditch. Limu. Limu. Limu Limu. That's it. Okay, we're going to try this. One, two, three, four. Good luck. Start with four cow, okay? Sway. One, two, three, go. Ya oi. Ya oi kalei pua candy candy. Ea. I don't, I don't know the words. <laughs> okay, try one more time. We're gonna try. I gotta look for words. I'm getting stressed because we only have seven minutes. Okay, here we go. Get ready with four ka o. Pull them out. First verse. Ya oe. Ya oe. Roll it your heart. Ya oe kalei pua kenny pua kenny. 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 Eh, oh. Bloom to kaulana. Kabua Fragrance. Kaulana o na. Now, kawa. kawa, you and I. Kawa In the fragrance kawa. of the night. Overcome when I see Ea, the flower blooming in the afternoon and evening at my home. Water going down to our Follow to the side. Okay, I only made one big mistake, but that's okay. Okay. So that was up to verse 4. We will continue with these verses. I know it's a lot, but I love that we get to go on a trip to Pau'o. For those of you that don't live nearby, you really get to paint a picture of this place and this love story. Now, before we have time, I do want to make sure that we practice May Day is Lay Day because May Day is coming up. And you will have an opportunity to submit a video of you dancing Mayday is Lady pretty soon. So here we go with Mayday is Lady. Hopefully that's not too loud. Can you check that? Can you turn it down? Five clicks. Dance with me. Mayday. Mayday. to the right. Garlands of flowers. Pick flowers to the right. Pick flowers to the left. Drag it across to the right and to the left. All of the colors touch in the hands. Dip fingers down. Maidens. Behind your hair to the right and left. Flower pick out in front. Smiling, happy. Throwing aside, shake right, and left, 
lift up those cares not too high. facial expressions you all are making out there. Happy. All right. We get to repeat this time. Try it without the words, but can you sing? Mayday is lady. Mayday is lady in Hawaii. Garlands of flowers to check out our posts on our page about how you can participate. But we will be um, doing a May Day Ho'ike, or performance, and we would like to invite those of you who would like to, to submit a video of you dancing May Day is Lay Day. And um, we'll actually have two different versions. Those of you that only come to the Saturday class, just the chorus. If you'd like to learn some verses to this, you can come to the Tuesday classes, and we'll have more information about that. Um, you can either submit a video of yourself doing Mayday's Lady, or you can come to a live filming here in uh, Honolulu, actually kind of near Waikiki area, um, on Friday, April 23rd from 5 to 7 p.m. If you would like more information on all of this, what you need to do is fill out my form. I only had four people fill it out so far, so it looks like it's going to be a very short, small ho'ike, my friends. Okay, This is a virtual ho'ike, which means we would love to feature you folks from all around the world. So definitely check out this website, tinyurl.com slash layday2021, and you can see how, or you can have more information sent to you, emailed to you, um, about how you can participate. Okay, so I believe that is all the time that we have. If you would like to practice Leipua Kenny Kenny more times, you can definitely come to... Um, this same spot on our Facebook and watch the replay, which is always available immediately after this class. I think we've run out of time for poi balls, but I think Eames might do a little poi balls out for you on the deck. We hope that you had fun, learned something, and we'll come back again real soon. Until next week or next time, maybe Tuesday. Ahui ho.